5G services have been rolled out in Taiwan, marking the start of a new era of tech innovation. On August 12, 40 industry leaders gathered at a Taipei summit to explore what this new era holds for Taiwan. For Mosa News reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. Industry experts gather on stage to discuss the latest applications of 5G and new business opportunities after the epidemic. This is the fifth annual What's Next 5G Summit. Transport Minister Ling Jialong was one of the keynote speakers at the summit. He said the Transport Ministry has completed the first phase of 5G spectrum release for commercial use. The next step is to set up 5G test sites, including airports, ports and tourist centers. In addition, the ministry is already making preparations for 6G. Now, it may seem to be too soon to talk about 5G or 6G, but if you look at the past, it takes about 15 years to complete 3G. 4G is mostly 12 years, 5G is 8 years, and according to international estimates, 6G will probably be less than 8 years. Axel Lindbergh, the executive director of the German Industry and Commerce Taiwan, spoke about the key areas of German-Taiwan collaboration in the 5G era. Taiwan and Germany have both established their first 5G networks and certainly will be excellent partners for future development of smart manufacturing, smart cities and autonomous driving technologies and devices. And we organize a Taiwan-German Smart City Summit on September 29th. Liu Sitai, the head of Qualcomm's business in Taiwan and Southeast Asia, addressed opportunities in developing the millimeter wave spectrum of 5G. He believes that Taiwan, due to its wealth of OEM and ODM technology and talent, is suited to become a strategic hub for the millimeter wave spectrum. The millimeter wave spectrum of 5G can support stable transmission speed and cover a wider range. The real breakthroughs of 5G will come under the impact of millimeter waves. To usher in the era of 5G and other technologies, industry leaders explore ways to advance Taiwan's 5G industry and create new business opportunities in the post-coronavirus world. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Tai Yo in Taipei.